Hey, Wild and Wise friends. Welcome. Uh, today I'm going to be covering the fire warm up. This is just a name that feels relevant for this warm up pattern. Um, so, this warm up series includes my go to warm up patterns uh, plus a breath series in the beginning the, of the low high breath, an exhaled hold, and an inhaled hold. And the idea with this warm up is that um, we want to really create space in the body before we add any intensity. All right, so we're going to really focus on just like getting these patterns done by themselves. Like this warm up just by itself, like as a standalone thing, is incredibly valuable. So um, just give yourself the space to drop into each pattern 10 to 20 reps per pattern. You don't have to stay in time with me, but follow along with the video and just check in with your body and adjust the feet a little bit make the little positional adjustments to figure out what feels best for your body because our bodies are all different um, they all look different they all fit into positions differently uh, but the idea is to warm up everything from the feet to the head and hands and then we go from here and this might be enough you might just need to go into the warm-up pattern as a movement session something gentle short that fits into your day but if you're using it as a warm-up and then you're gonna go into something more vigorous or go into meditation um, you know it really depends but there's so many directions you can go from here but um, we don't realize how much how, how much disconnection we're sitting in from our bodies our breath is suppressed our tissues our sliding surfaces are are not sliding our bodies are generally like holding more than they need to our bones aren't our joints aren't articulating the way that we they're in an optimized way our hips are tight um, we're generally holding tension in our pelvis kind of like a clamp like holding down um, our necks are like generally hinging from just being on the phone not articulating so this is about like getting all the articulating surfaces of the body reestablished okay cool so give it a shot go into it um, 20 to 30 of the low high breaths to start exhaled max hold inhaled for about 15 seconds and then go in and just follow along with the patterns if you have any questions please let me know enjoy okay so as you're approaching this the fire active mobility warm-up we're gonna start with building the fire internally so we're gonna start with the low high breath breathing down into the pelvis and up into the chest with a soft jaw and open jaw. 20 to 30 breaths, depending on your comfort level. You can sit in a seated uh, cross-legged position or on your knees. You can do it standing in the horse stance. Depends on where you're at in the moment. And uh, as for any of these movements, please honor that. So go ahead and start your breathing pattern. You can follow along with this if you'd like. All right, so if you haven't inhaled and held yet, now's the time to do that. If you have, go ahead and just shake it out and kind of flex and extend the spine a bit. We're gonna start by moving the shoulders with this. We're gonna inhale through the nose up, exhale through the mouth, turning the thumbs all the way back and in, and turning them all the way out and back on the way up. All right, so see how my arms are rotating? Really letting the rib cage and spine, the whole spine articulate with the arms. Now really, really adding in the head and the spine. So I'm really flexing the spine, really extending the spine. Sort of like a cat-cow position with the breath. 
really pulling the breath from the, the bottom of the pelvis all the way up into the high chest, all the way up into the head. Really drawing that energy up the spine. Okay, so now here we're moving into an actual cat-cow position, exhaling on the flexion, inhaling on the extension. So you can see how my spine's moving in a wave-like motion. I'm not just sort of clumsily closing and opening. Really wanting to let the energy move up the spine in a wave and then up in this position, right? So up from the low spine to the neck and then from the tailbone up through the spine again, right? So it's like a wave moving from the tailbone up to the head. Inhale, exhale. So we're using that same flexion extension. We're just coming back on the toes to what's called the beast position, pushing the hands, driving the hips back. Inhale at the front. Exhale, back left, knees come out wide. <clears throat> You'll feel a lot of stretch through your feet, your toes, your ankles, really sitting back. Inhale, exhale, push away, reach along, reach through long elbows here. And get back into that beast position. And be gentle with your ankles and feet, so modify this based on what your body needs. position we're moving into a squat where the feet are going to be turned out a bit flat-footed now this is what I call a samurai squat so I'm pivoting so one flip foot is flat turned out the other foot is driving the knee towards the floor so this is more foot stretching so we're really opening up the foot and the knee I'm just pivoting here so you can see it so we're going to move into that squat and now I'm tucking the toes or the fingers under the toes Inhaling here as my spine is straight, pulling the shoulders back. Exhaling as I let go of the arms and shoulders, tucking the chin. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. And if you can't get down as low as I can with your hips, just get as low as you can with your arms straight and with your arms inside your knees. And if you're not flexible enough to touch your toes, just let your hands release from your toes and grab them on the way down as you can. And if you guys Lots want to of do breath. This with Lots me, of breath. Big breath. <sighs> really pulling the shoulders back at the bottom, letting them go at the top here. Pulling them back. Letting them go. Okay, pulling back into the bow position. Thumbs back, hips driving forward. Really opening the whole front body, hinging at the hips, turning the thumbs in, and then curling up. This is called the whip. Like the spine as a whip, hinging the hip, tucking the chin, thumbs in, curl up. So we're looking for a straight or arched spine on the way down, flexed spine as it curls up. So you can go five to ten to twenty, right? Whatever really feels best. These I like to call scap punches because I'm punching with my scapula. Nothing else is moving. Five to ten of those, just a few. Now this is the deep lunge stretch, right? Some people call this the world's greatest stretch. We're driving the elbow down into that flat front foot. So make sure your legs are as long apart as they can, front to back. Big inhale on the way up, big exhale on the way down. Right, pushing into the squat, switching sides, same thing. Inhale. This stretch is a daily stretch for me, every day. And if I don't do it, I, my body tends to not like it the next day. It feels a lot harder for me. But even if I just do a few, just visit with the position, it makes a big, big difference. Okay, now this one, we're going fingertips to either side of the foot, pulling the toe back, straightening the knee, then bringing the hands and head up and back. So we're really stretching the right hamstring here and the back of the left hip flexor, the front of the left thigh. Whew, exhale, inhale, really leaning back, really reaching back with the hands, back with the head, back with the chest. Inhale, exhale. This is a, a very tiring movement. All right, so five to ten move, uh, reps per side. Okay, fingertips here. Big swan dive up, inhale, exhale, down. Pull that knee back, straighten the knee, pull the toes towards you. And again, same thing, modify based on what you need. Um, in this, this position, go easy on the lay back. If the low back feels sore, this position, if you can't straighten the leg like my knee's straightening in the front, 
and you can't pull your toes away, please do what you can, even if your knee ends up being slightly bent. It's okay. Now you're going to do a forward fold, really just pulling your forehead towards the kneecap. Now you're going into a scorpion stretch here, so the arms are out like a T, and I'm kicking all the way, all the way, all the way up towards my hand. I'm holding it as far as I can get towards my hand. And then I'm, see, I'm really reaching with that foot, and then I'm just deep breathing. Really belly breathing here. Really belly breathing here. Big belly breath. Okay, so that's just four. So this is made to be a really short warm up that really hits all the positions. We can do some, some chaturangas or some up dog, down dog. Right? Spend as much time as you need in these positions. If it doesn't, you might not need a ton of reps. I always counter stretch with the child's pose. Zero, the hands are side to side together with a little bit more lat stretch. Let's all keep going. This is fun. Yeah. Really stretching, really lengthening from the lumbar spine, from the lumbar spine. Deep breaths as we move. Amazing. And then counter stretching with the heels of the hands driving towards the ground. Fingers facing back towards you. Bring your hands out as far as you can. Flatten those hands out. If you can bend your elbows a little bit, it moves the stretch down into the hands. It's a really good thing to do for our, our grippy hands that use technology and are holding things a lot. All right, and then this counter stretch for the wrist, stretching the extensors of the forearm. All right, so I'm making fists and stretching through the back of the wrist. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it.